afternoon all of you good afternoon sir yes all of you can listen prepare, uh, all of you can able to listen properly see properly yes sir okay i hope all of you have studied and listened in the previous two uh, lectures that i have uploaded yes all of you Yes, all of you have seen the video. Hello. Yes, all of you can listen me. Yes, sir. Hello. all of you have watched listen or studied the video the previous two video that i have uploaded recorded video yes sir okay yes, sir. okay in that uh, two videos uh, we have covered the two points in the uh, first one we have covered the generic model of erp okay and uh, the pre other, other was the related with the advantages and the some limitations of the erp okay in the previous uh, video that i have uploaded so can anybody tell me what are the limitations of the erp yes what are the limitations of the erp and the advantages advantages of the erp yes anybody integrity yes integrity integration integration is the one of the best advantage then flexibility flexibility improve planning and decision making very good are there any limitations also yes any any one any limitation automation sir yes because of the automation the creativity get decrease correct yes yes sir then another apart from the uh, uh, apart from the limitations comes because of the automation what are other higher cost higher cost exactly then reduce the creativity of the employees okay that is because of the automation okay so these are the different things we have discussed with the previous one and uh, the next and the last point related with the unit 3 and then after this we are having the one case study also Uh, but this part also we are going to study in the two parts. That is, a uh, today we are starting. That is the ICT for development and the e-governance. Okay. Now first we now this uh, we understood in the uh, part wise. Part wise in the says first we understand what do you mean by the ICT. Then we understand uh, some related terms. You know to understand this topic and some related terms that we are going to require. in order to understand our second section of information system second section in the sense the unit like 4 5 6 understood because they, we are having the reference of that so we understand that basic terminologies because if you don't understood that basic terminology then uh, uh, it will be difficult for you to understand the particular part so first we understand what do you mean by the ict all of you must be knowing 
what is the exact for long form of the ICT? ICT stands for what the information and the communication technology. Okay. Now, what is it? What is it? What do you mean by this information and communication technology? Means what? How you describe this? Manju sir, the technology apne la maithi puro the access karale permission dete. Yes, it is quite similar to the uh, information technology term. but in the information technology slightly different like information technology we make the use of uh, computers to uh, collect the information store the information or uh, the retrieve the information process that information and distribute these are the other things comes under the category of information technology so information communication and technology also similar as compared to the information technology one part that is being get added here and which is most important in case of our topic that is nothing but the communication okay so ict stands for the information and communication technology and it refers to the technologies that provide access to the information through the communication so different technology nowadays available in the world using which we can access to the information access in the sense we can have, we can collect the information we can store the information we can process that information and we can use that information for certain purpose we in the sense the individual person can also utilize the information company business can also utilize the information government agencies also utilizing the information so there are the different uh, what we can say users of that information okay and now you know to access this information nowadays as compared with the 20 years back period nowadays it has become very easy now why it has become very easy because there are the vast revolution in the technology new technologies are getting revolving uh, day by day and because of that the access to the information also becomes easy okay now our point main point of discussion is now going to be what how this ict how this information and communication technology can be utilized so that the development can be get increase as well as the e governance also will get increased development of what development of the individual person development of certain house home gaon panchayat district then state and indirectly the we have the development of the country how we can utilize these ict for the development purpose and the e governance purpose that is nothing but our that is nothing but uh, Uh, our point of discussion is going to happen in the next uh, some lectures okay but for that purpose first we need to understand what exactly mean by the ict i hope all of you got this point what do you mean by the ict understood yes yes sir so it is it is quite similar to the information technology that i have just explained but this ict primarily focus on the communication technology which are the different communication technology available nowadays using which you can access share store distribute the information which are the technologies are available nowadays mobile laptop mobile laptop on which you can utilize the internet you can have the wireless network nowadays you are having the cell phones and there are the many more communication medias are available today using which you can make the utilization of information and you can distribute share the information okay now this because of this utilization of this ict uh, we can have the new capabilities we are having the new power with us and as well as our uh, what we can say uh, our creativity creativity also increasing these are all the things we can experience because of the ict okay but also we can see that uh, if you want to discuss the example now in the nowadays we can communicate with other people who are who might be living in other countries using the telephones mobile phones and there are the various kind of messaging tools are available nowadays you can have the whatsapp you are having the facebook you are having the other thing different communication technology are available using it we, today we are doing the communication also nowadays we are having the uh, vivo ip kind of services video conferencing services etc etc now currently we are you are listening to me and we are discussing this topic this is also this is this is nothing but the result of what this is nothing but the result of the ict all of you are agree 
yes sir yes because of such kind of technology now we are doing just like the video conferencing yes or no it is just nothing but the video conferencing okay now what do you mean by the voice over ip have you heard this voice over ip yes does the jio support the voice over ip first tell me do you know about this voice over ip technology at least to yes, like sir. like uh, what do you use broadband cha madatene ha yes yes broadband cha madatene apan call karu shokto broadband cha madatene in the sense what broadband cha madatene manje you want to say through the internet uh we can do the call that you want to say yes sir exactly very good so now you can see when you are making the calls to somebody you are utilizing the network of mobile companies okay but even if you don't have that network and if your mobile supporting this functionality and your network supporting this functionality that is voice over ip then without the network of any mobile network without the support of any mobile network just using the internet facility you can make the calls to your friends wherever he is located you got this meaning yes sir yes all of you if you yes yes sir okay so you can search more on it why so ip technology using just internet without the utilization of mobile network also you can make the call so these things are being become possible only because of the ict and nowadays new kind of tools and devices and technologies are also getting evolved getting created which is supporting this ict now the point i am on to i want we have, we need to clear today which will help us to understand the further part of this unit okay these are the these terms what do you mean by the government what do you mean by the governance yes how you can describe the government what is your idea about the government what is the government yes anybody what is the government how do you describe the government ha ah, yes what is the government according to you सर गवर्नमेंट म्हणजे अशी कमिटी की जी आपल्या स्टेट म्हणजे राज्याचे डिसिजन वगैरे घेते त्यांचं करेक्ट त्याच्या रिलेटेड आता तुम्हाला वाटत असेल की आपण आता आयसीटी स्टडी करत होतो आणि आपण अचानक गव्हर्नमेंट टॉपिक कडे कस काय म्हणजे स्विच झालो व्हाय वी आर स्विच बिकॉज इन दिस आवर टॉपिक इज व्हॉट आयसीटी फॉर डेव्हलपमेंट अँड अँड द ई गव्हर्नन्स ओके because if you don't understood what do you mean by the government and what roles being performed by the government then you will not understand what is the role of ict for development and the e governance i hope you are getting yes yes sir now yeah what you are telling government so according to that that is your government view uh, that is your view regarding the government yes other student what do you think about the government jambale dipali how you will describe the government gayatri devadrao gayatri dige gayatri pawar badwar okay you need to speak up puja gaikwad puja chavan you can tell me whatever they were in your mind yeah hmm yes पुरी स्नेहा संजना परदेशी मोनाली कदम स्पीक अप द डिस्कशन शुड नॉट हैपन वन साइडेड ओके दैट इज नॉट वी आर कॉलिंग एज अ लर्निंग 
you should you should you should express your views then we can discuss on that it it might be right wrong it doesn't matter what matter is whether you are speaking or not government uh, means it provide the better services to all uh, sir government yeah okay do one thing uh, you... government means the uh -huh. first tell your name and then you can speak up the uh, otashmini okay yes uh, government means the group of people who role of uh, control our country very good this another anybody else other student okay every time i used to note down the students who are giving the answer right or wrong it doesn't matter and this definitely help you to get the marks okay internal external marks during giving these mark all these things get considered not just how how you perform during the practicals or how you perform during the uh, theory exam only that thing doesn't matter how you generally uh, okay during the lectures also these things all things get calculated Ah uh, yes, Vaishali. What do you think? Hello. Ah uh, yes, yes. Government means आपले all public में दुन all peoples में दुन एक leader choice करने जो आपले इतना सर तो complete करे. Okay, very good. कहाँ है ना तुम सर? डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑर्गनाइज कमिटी कैन बी अ कंट्री अंडरस्टूड दैट इज नथिंग बट द गवर्नमेंट कि एक अशा प्रकार ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल कि जे हु आर बीइंग इलेक्टेड इन केस ऑफ द डेमोक्रेसी द पीपल ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु आर बीइंग इलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द पीपल एंड हु आर वर्किंग फॉर द कॉज ऑफ द पीपल दैट दैट थिंग वी आर रिफरिंग एज अ गवर्नमेंट ओके now my uh, government made different uh, we can say the different peoples comes now what do you think which things comes under the government or which things we are considering this as a government bodies yes in our country which systems we are considering these are all part of the government or this is these are the acting as a government can you give me the different examples yes can we can you give me the different examples related with the government the thing the the things which comes under the government or the people who are we can call him call them as these are the working as a government uh, component pm cm exactly there are the central government prime minister minister working under the prime minister then the related with the state there are the chief ministers then the minister who are working under the chief ministers district collectors mag tyacha madhe fakt nete mandali jetat ka no sir mag plus no sir plus sir taluka tahsildar तहसीलदार कैटेगरी मध्य आला हा लोक निवड़ी का कलेक्टर सो व्हाट इज द टर्म फॉर दैट जे लोक गवर्नमेंट ऐसी अंडर नौकरी करता ब्यूरोक्रेसी 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 इन देंस नौकर शाह गेटिंग आता हे जे नेते मंडळी आहेत या हे जे मिनिस्टर असतात चीफ मिनिस्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर हे 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 सगळ्यांच्या अंडर हे जी ही दुसरी ह्या सगळ्यांच्या अंडर कोण काम करतं ब्युरोक्रेसी नौकरशाह म्हणजे यू कॅन सी द कलेक्टर तहसील ऑफिसर्स ओके आपण ते ग्रामपंचायतीमध्ये कोण असतात ते तलाटी बरोबर 
सरपंच त्याच्यानंतर हे सभापती झेड पी प्रेसिडेंट लाईक दिस एव्हरी दिस ऑल द पीपल्स आर कम अंडर द कॅटेगरी ऑफ द गव्हर्नमेंट नाव अँड दे आर वर्किंग फॉर अवर फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस ओके also there are the different uh, departments comes under the government like the electricity department is there transportation department is there water management department road okay educational department so these all things comes under the category of the government and now i hope all of you have got the clear idea what do you mean by the government yes yes sir is this definition is the correct two point definition i have mentioned a government is the system or group of people गव्हर्निंग अँड ऑर्गनाइज कोविड कमिटी गव्हर्निंग म्हणजे काय असे लोक जे काय आपल्यावर आपण काय म्हणतो त्याला राज्य करणे गव्हर्निंग इन द सेन्स काय दे आर हँडलिंग अस दे आर वर्किंग फॉर अस दे आर दॅट इज बिंग रिफर्ड ॲज अ गव्हर्निंग गॉट द मिनिंग गव्हर्निंग द ऑर्गनाइज कमिटी इट कॅन बी अ स्टेट कंट्री आय हॅव जस्ट मेन्शन युअर द स्टेट नाव लेट्स क्लिअर वॉट डू मीन बाय देन द गव्हर्नन्स governance means what marathi madhe jar manala gele government tar kay rajya karte barobar yes sir ata rajya karte kon who are who are governing that everything we have discussed now what do you mean by then governance हॅलो हा आवाज येत नाही हा रिपीट म्हणजे ते गव्हर्नमेंट एका पर्टिक्युलर मॅनर मध्ये आपण चालवत होते राज्यकार राज्य करते राज्य कारभार कसा चालवतात येस हाऊ द गव्हर्नमेंट इज रनिंग द how the government is running the state how the government is running the country that point is nothing but the called as what governance getting yes sir yes sir the action or manner of governing a state or governing a organization he je rajya karte apan je mantle he rajya kase chalavtat whether good or bad that things nothing but the governance understood now what kind of what if i ask you the question in order to do the governance in order to do the governance what what roles and responsibility that has to be performed by the government what roles and the services that has to be performed by the government to provide the governance can you tell me the anything about this question in simple way what i want to ask you what are the government roles and the services or the responsibilities as a part of the governance hmm yes hmm akash yes sir uh, reduce market failure market failure reduce karne Mm-hmm. protection of environment okay uh, and national defense security mm. security okay uh, economic uh, stability very good then yes girls yes anybody from the girls law वगैरे law maintain the law and order yes hmm then providing good services like health care yeah. providing the services related with the health nowadays healthcare electricity nowadays, electricity nowadays the role of the government is very much you can see uh, important in this corona period yes or no yes yes sir so let me list out what are the roles and services that has to be performed by the government 
as a part of the governments like security for maintaining the law and order then if you consider regarding the student itself providing the services related with the documents like income certificate residential proof age and nationality caste certificate validity then related with the farmers providing the satbara utara of the land related with the graduate students providing the jobs then related with the tourism and the traveling license providing electricity rozgar providing the services to fill the tax providing the services related with the insurance shetkaryan sathi peak bima aadhar card facilities dbt facilities dbt are you are you are you taking the dbt facilities of the government through what through what scholarship exactly you are getting the scholarship from the government so these are nothing but the sum of i have we have just tried to cover some of the roles and the services that is being provided by the government mag jar government he sagla goshti vyavasthit prakare provide karat asel tar apan tela kay manto good governance to that then what we say good governance understood if the government is not providing such kind of facilities and not performing their roles and services then we can call it as a bad governance i hope now that these two points are clear okay because these two points we are going to refer in the subsequent part of our study understood these yes sir let's move yes, toward the next important term yes. that is the economics now our second section name is only the engineering economics i hope you are remembering our first first half is the information system and our second is what engineering econo economics yes or no yes sir yes sir and that is i am pressing on this topic so so much so that when we are when we start the second section that time we will not face any difficulty and in this ict for development and e governance we are also requiring this point now what do you mean by then the economics economics first you share what you are in your mind then we'll discuss on that economics marathi madhe economics cha artha kay arthashastra arthashastra barobar then what exactly it is money management or money management business industry organize ma ata money management he fakt business madhe lagel ka अपने घर मध्य लगत नहीं मनी मैनेजमेंट यस नाउ सो दैट्स व्हाई लेट्स लेट्स वील कैरी ऑन विद द टेक्निकल टर्म्स एंड वील अटैच विथ अटैच विथ आवर रियल वर्ल्ड एग्जांपल्स नाउ इफ यू सी द आवर लाइफ और इफ यू लुक अराउंड एवरी वियर यू विल सी दैट द स्कारसिटी इज द फैक्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ नाउ व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय द स्कारसिटी do anybody know what do you mean by the scarcity scarcity manje tu ata tumhala nobody should know this scarcity in the sense marathi madhe yala manta durmilta kay durmilta tanchai tanchai ata asa aaye ka ki aplya in our life ki saglyas goshti aplya kade ahet everything is there asa kunacha baptit hota ka nahi jar श्रीमंत तरी वाटत स्कारसिटी स्कारसिटी इज द फैक्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ कि जग मधे ज्यादा गोषी मग पानी मना अन्न मना वस्त्र मना निवारा मना हा स गोषी का लिमिटेड है यस और नो दीज आर ऑल द थिंग्स लिमिटेड ऑल द थिंग्स आर लिमिटेड and what do you mean by then scarcity means what scarcity scarcity means that humans wants for the goods services and the resources 
exceed what is available when the human wants for the goods services and the resources exceed what is available then that particular situation is nothing but the called as scarcity what do you mean by this akash scarcity means that when the manje sir ekada vyakti la je garajeche pan tyacha kad manje je hai te sodun je lagte tala scarcity manta आता जे आहे ते ह्युमन वॉन्ट्स फॉर द गुड सर्व्हिसेस अँड द सर्व्हिस एक्सीड व्हॉट इज अवेलेबल जे काय आहे त्याच्यापेक्षा त्याला आणखीन काहीतरी पाहिजे ही स्टील नीड समथिंग मोर समथिंग मोर दॅट इज कॉल्ड ऍज वॉट द स्कार सिटी अंडरस्टूड मग जे काही आहे काय जे काही आहे जे काय आहे म्हणजे काय गुड सर्व्हिसेस अँड द रिसोर्सेस now what what do you mean by the good services and the resources related with the life of the human being consider it. you can take your own example in your home what do you mean by the good services what do you mean by the goods and services sir goods manje gharat aplya kay kay vastu hai service aplya kade aplyala kay kay vastu lagtat facilities services madhe tumcha mobile cha facilities alya tv cha facilities alya goods madhe tumcha in the goods there comes your food and other things yes or no yes sir yes sir now how the human being if you take the example of our house only how the human beings manage all these things that is nothing but the called as the economics am i right yes sir yes sir barobar na apan fakt gharacha example getle ki aplya gharamade ya sagla goshti apan kashe manage karto आता ॲज युअर स्टुडंट युअर फादर अँड मदर अँड अदर 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 पर्सन्स ऑफ युअर होम हाऊ हाऊ दे मॅनेज ऑल दिस थिंग्स दॅट इज दॅट इज नथिंग बट द इकॉनॉमिक्स रिलेटेड विथ द होम ऑर द हाऊस येस ऑर नो दॅट इज नथिंग बट द अर्थर अर्थशास्त्र ऑफ आवर होम करेक्ट येस सर एक्झॅक्टली and same thing is applied to the economics in case of the any state economics related with the any country etc etc ki aplyala ja lagnare goshti ahet how we manage all these things mag apan kasa manage mag te manage kasa karto apan how we manage this that term is nothing but the economics all of you got this point yes, yes sir आणि मग गुड्स आणि सर्व्हिसेस जर आपल्याला प्रोड्यूस करायचे असतील तर त्याच्यासाठी रिसोर्सेस लागतात सो आय एम कॉलिंग हेअर द रिसोर्सेस आर लाईक द लेबर्स टूल्स लँड वॉटर मनी डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल विच आर नेसेसरी टू प्रोड्यूस द गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस वी वॉन्ट बट दे एक्झिस्ट इन लिमिटेड सप्लाय आता जर तुम्हाला चांगले गुड्स आणि सर्व्हिसेस यूज करायचे असेल तर मेन रिसोर्स काय मनी मनी मग मनी अनलिमिटेड आहे का आपल्या सगळ्यांकडे नो सो कॅन वी से देर इज अ स्कार सिटी ऑफ द मनी यस इफ द स्कार सिटी ऑफ द मनी इज देअर डेफिनेटली द स्कार सिटी रिलेटेड विथ द गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस विल कम येस ऑर नो येस अँड हाऊ वी मॅनेज ऑल दिस थिंग्स हाऊ वी मॅनेज आवर रिसोर्सेस अँड हाऊ विल ट्राय टू जनरेट द गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस फॉर आवर फॉर आवर लिव्हिंग that is nothing but the called as the economics correct yes sir mag yes, aplya desha cha baptit kas hai ya goshti apan kasha uh, uh, relate karu shaku related with the government how we can relate these things mhanje sir ata health health care sathi defense sathi money management barobar ata tumhi mhanta astal ki apan ha yes yes आजून सर हेल्थ स्टडी स्टडी आता तुमची स्कॉलरशिपला ओके तुमच्या स्कॉलर तुम्हाला स्कॉलरशिप मिळते करेक्ट यू आर गेटिंग द स्कॉलरशिप सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द वन ऑफ द सर्व्हिस अँड द रिसोर्सेस प्रोव्हाइडेड बाय द गव्हर्नमेंट टू अस मग गव्हर्नमेंट ज्या काही गव्हर्नमेंट ह्या गोष्टी कशा मॅनेज करते कुठल्या गोष्टी की सपोज हेल्थ केअरवर होणारा खर्च सिक्युरिटीवरती होणारा खर्च 
स्कॉलरशिप वरती होणारा खर्च वॉटर मॅनेजमेंट वरती होणारा खर्च ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टी सबसिडी दिल्या जाते तुम्हाला गॅस वरती सबसिडी मिळते डिफरंट यू गेट द सबसिडी ऑन द डिफरंट थिंग्स हाऊ गव्हर्नमेंट मॅनेज दिस ऑल द थिंग्स हाऊ गव्हर्नमेंट मॅनेज द गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस विच इज प्रोवायडेड टू द जनरल पब्लिक दॅट इज नथिंग बट द कॉड एज इकॉनॉमिक्स करेक्ट so let's define it in the another way also in the next page you can see here economics is the branch of the knowledge concerned with the production consumption and transfer of goods and services is this definition correct apan je discussion kela tacha ek short definition i have mentioned here kay ki economics is the branch of knowledge kasha sha related production and consumption yes or no and yes, transfer of goods and services economy is also the study of how human make the decision in the face of scarcity jar tumcha kade goods and services limited hai tumcha kade paise pan limited hai then how you take the decision jar tumcha kade limited asel tar tumhi garchanna manal ki mala bike pahije college la jayla asa manu shakta tumhi no no so this definition is also correct economics is the study of how human make the decision in the face of the scarcity sir aplya kade kai resources limited ahet then how you how you take the decision if you have the limited money will you ask your parents to buy the bike for you will you ask for your parents that i want to go to the movie every week will you ask your parents that you want to we want the four wheeler to go to the college these all the things taking the decision related all these things is nothing but the economics so decision can be a individual decision family decision business decision government decision society decision etc etc now here the standard definition of economics is also mentioned it is a social science directed at the satisfaction of needs and the want through the allocation of scarce resources which have the different alternative use and further the another definition is mentioned here okay so here another definition i have mentioned the related with the economics only it is a social science directed at the satisfaction of needs and wants through the allocation of scarce resources je kai resources aplya kade available ahet how you are utilizing that for your needs and the wants by making the different arrangements that is nothing but the called as the economics here also i have stated economics is about the study of scarcity and the choice वॉट एवर लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस आर अवेलेबल हाउ यू टेक द डिशीजन एंड हाउ यू लिव यूजिंग दैट दैट इज नथिंग बट द कॉड एज द इकोनॉमिक्स सो दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर इकोनॉमिक्स नाउ लेट्स मूव टू वर्ड द अनदर पॉइंट रिलेटेड विद दैट ओनली दैट इज द इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमिक्स का मंटल तुम्हें इट इज द अर्थशास्त्र इट इज द ब्रांच ऑफ social science that is related with the human being wants human beings uh, needs and how the human beings needs and wants get completed through the available goods and services that is the economics and that same thing is applied to the economics uh, of the country state etc etc now economy what do you mean in the marathi economy in the sense hmm he so the arth chas related kai tari he tar this is this is this is correct hmm arthik sthiti काय इकॉनॉमी म्हणजे काय आर्थिक स्थिती किंवा आर्थिक परिस्थिती पण म्हणू शकतो आपण करेक्ट मग देन हाऊ विल डिसाईड दॅट इकॉनॉमी ऑफ युअर होम इज गुड दॅन द होम ऑफ युअर फ्रेंड्स ऑर एनिबडी एल्स आपण कधी असं म्हणू की आपल्या घराची आर्थिक परिस्थिती दुसऱ्यांपेक्षा खूप चांगली आहे असं तुम्ही कधी म्हणता 
ज्या आपल्या बेसिक नीड्स आहेत त्या कम्प्लीट होत असतील कम्प्लीट होत असतील गुड यस आकाश सर म्हणजे समोरच्या व्यक्तीकडे काय ते तर त्याच्याकडे ते मग ते आपल्याकडे ते नाही त्याच्यावरून सुद्धा आपण आपण आपली आर्थिक परिस्थिती काय त्यालाच काय म्हणतात इकॉनॉमी द स्टेट ऑफ कंट्री द स्टेट ऑफ कंट्री स्टेट ऑफ स्टेट स्टेट ऑफ रिजन और इंडिव्हिज्युअल हाऊस इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अँड कन्झम्शन ऑफ गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस अँड द सप्लाय ऑफ मनी कि आपल्या घराचं जर आपण उदाहरण घेतलं तर आपल्या घरामध्ये किती लोक किती माणसं आहेत किती लोक पैसे कमवतात अंडरस्टूड अँड वेदर ऑल ऑफ देम आर गेटिंग द रेग्युलर फूड वेदर ऑल ऑफ देम गेटिंग द रेग्युलर सर्व्हिसेस whether all of them are getting the regular money and whether they are enjoying their life how they enjoying their life let's take the example for example if i say there is a student who are having the car to go to the college okay there is a ex student who are having the car to in order to go to the college there is another student who are having the bike in order to go to the college and there is another z student who is going to the college through the bus or through the cycle then which student is having the good economy the student which came to school the, by car the student who go to the college for example we have divided the student as a x y z then the x student who are going to the college through the car definitely what you will say his economy is better than the other two students yes or no yes sir कारण त्याची जी स्टेट आहे त्या जी स्टुडंटची स्टेट आहे इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कन्झम्शन ऑफ सर्व्हिसेस आता तो कारनी जर कॉलेज जात असेल तर त्याची कन्झम्शन ऑफ सर्व्हिसेस काय इट इज व्हेरी हाय तो कारनी जातोय कॉलेजला येस ऑर नो कन्झम्शन ऑफ त्याची सर्व्हिसेस खूप चांगली आहे कारण त्याची प्रोडक्शन सुद्धा चांगले असेल येस ऑर नो त्याच्या घरी पैसाच खूप जास्त पैसा सुद्धा त्याच पद्धतीने चांगला येत असेल त्यामुळे तर त्याला कॉलेजला जाण्यासाठी कार मिळते दॅट इज नथिंग बर दी सप्लाय ऑफ मनी इज व्हेरी गुड की प्रोडक्शन ऑफ दॅट इज दॅट इज द सेम थिंग आय हॅव मेन्शन इयर वॉट आय मेन्शन इयर यू कॅन सी द स्टेट ऑफ कंट्री और रिजन और इंडिव्हिज्युअल हाऊस इन टर्म्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन जर घरामध्ये येणाऱ्या गोष्टी जर फॉर एक्झाम्पल आता सगळ्या गोष्टी कशावर बऱ्यापैकी गोष्टी पैशावर अवलंबून असतात अंडरस्टू जर घरामध्ये पैसे खूप चांगल्या प्रकारे येत असतील तर त्याला त्याचं कन तर त्या यू कॅन टेक द कन्झम्शन ऑफ व्हेरियस लक्झरीज थिंग्स यू कॅन गो टू द कॉलेज बाय द कार्स पण जर प्रोडक्शन एज खूप लो असेल काय घरामध्ये पैसा कमी येत असेल तर ह्या गोष्टी आपण कन्झ्युम करू शकू का फॉर एक्झाम्पल एक स्टुडंट विल कन्झ्युम द विल यूज द कार टू गो टू द कॉलेज विल इट हॅपन लाईक देन वी कॅन ऑल्सो सी की तो एक स्टुडंट गोइंग टू द मुव्ही ऑन एव्हरी वीक वेदर वी कॅन से द आवरेज इकॉनॉमी स्टुडंट कॅन गो टू द मुव्ही वन इन द मंथ देन वी कॅन से द बिलो द आवरेज सॅटिस्फॅक्टरी कॅन गो टू द मुव्ही वन्स पर इयर दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वी कॅन कम्पेअर अंडरस्टूड नाव रिलेट द धिस टर्म टू द इकॉनॉमी ऑफ द कंट्री आता आपण आपल्या घराच्या रिलेटेड आपण रिलेट केलं बरोबर now how we can relate the economy to the country or state instead of state we will try to relate relate it with the economy of the country how we can say economy of this xyz country or how we can say economy of the india is better than the bangladesh is uh, better than the pakistan is better than the what you can say other our neighboring countries or other countries also we can take the example australia new zealand from them from as compared with them our economy is good how we can say this on the basis of what sir konti country titla lokanla facility jast provide karta barobar e karta che tyachanusar tya country madhe industrialization kiti ahe how many people are having the jobs correct then what are the, what is the what is the situation of what is the situation of related with the health uh, health care in certain countries 
what is the hunger index of the particular countries hunger index do you know the hunger index hunger index means what our country is the developed country or the developing country developing country developing country our country is the developing country hunger index manje kay ki एखाद देशा मध्य अपन एक प्रमाण मन तो अन्न मिलते कैन से हाउ मेनी पीपल्स डोंट गेट द फूड एवरी डे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द हंगर इंडेक्स अपन मन तो आई एम व्री हंग्री हंग्री भूक लगने बरबर तो एक हन द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड अपन जो मन तो वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड इंडेक्स कि बयाच कंट्रीज मिल एक ग्रुप आतो कि सपोज आवर आवर कंट्रीज हंगर इंडेक्स इज द वन जीरो फोर का आवर कंट्री हंगर इंडेक्स इज द वन जीरो फोर आउट ऑफ द थ्री हंड्रेड कंट्रीज मे अर्थ असा हो वॉट डू मीन बाय दीस आवर कंट्री हंगर इंडेक्स इज वन जीरो फोर आउट ऑफ द थ्री हंड्रेड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दीस फूड एवरी डे so these all the things are considered related with the economy of the certain country ki tya pradeshach chi arthik paristhiti kiti ahe what whether the production and consumption of goods and service how is the production and consumption of the goods of service apan anna ka provide karu shakat nahi mag karan aplo production kami hai you are getting my point our population is huge all of you must be agree yes sir मग प्रोडक्शन प्रमाण मध्य नहीं तो कंजम्शन अपन पुरु शकू का नो नो सो दिस सिचुएशन इज दिस पर्टिक्युलर थिंग इज कॉल्ड एज द इकोनॉमी सो इकोनॉमी इज बीइंग मेजर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द जीडीपी ओके फॉर युअर नॉलेज पर्पज इकोनॉमी ऑफ एनी कंट्री इज बीइंग मेजर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द जीडीपी जीडीपी स्टैंड फॉर द ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट जीडीपी स्टैंड फॉर द वॉट ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट तुम्हें ऐकला सर बाबा कहीं तरीके अपनी जीडीपी ढास जीडीपी वाड़ी कमी ऐसा बरबर सर जीडीपी ऐसी लॉन्ग फॉर्म का ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट मे नक्की अपन मन तो आप जीडीपी दोन हजार अठारह एक सहा पॉइंट एक टक्के होती आता घड़ीला नाव एट दिस टाइम इट इज द फोर पॉइंट वन पर्सेट तर जीडीपी म्हणजे काय द लॉंग फॉर्म आय टोल्ड यू ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट म्हणजे काय की आपल्या देशामध्ये जे काय ज्या काही गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस प्रोड्यूस होत आहेत काय इन अवर कंट्री व्हॉट एव्हर द गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस आर गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ दॅट इज नथिंग बट द जीडीपी यू आर गेटिंग पॉईंट येस सर मग गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस मध्ये काय काय येत असेल जे का प्रोड्यूस होते कार्स प्रोड्यूस होतात मोटरसायकल अन्नधान्य सर्व्हिसेस मध्ये एयरलाइन सर्विसेस व्हॉट एवर थिंग्स आर देअर अंडरस्टूड तर जीडीपी इन द सेन्स ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट दॅट इज नथिंग बट व्हॉट की व्हॉट इज द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ गुड्स अँड सर्व्हिसेस दॅट इज गेट प्रोड्यूस इन अवर कंट्री मग देशातल्या प्रत्येक व्यक्तीचा जीडीपी मध्ये हात असतो की नाही ऍज आय एम द एम्प्लॉई आय एम गिव्हिंग द टॅक्स टू द गव्हर्नमेंट दॅट ऑल्सो कम्स अंडर द GDP, understood that everything comes under the GDP because here uh, we can see I am uh, I am giving the service, so I am also paying the tax for that. So this everything comes under the uh, what we can say goods and services. So now here this point I want to clear this point. As I said in the 2018-19, our GDP was the 6.1 percent, but nowadays now it is 4.1 percent. Why this? Why this has happened? and before the before the 6 month only this was around the 5% 
not i don't know exactly but before the 6 month 5 month this gdp rate is he jase me tumhala sangitle ki what is the total value of goods and services tacha varun ek percentage kadla jata okay this percentage i am telling you now as i said before the 5 months or the 6 month that percentage what uh, was around the 6.1% gdp but uh, in the previous month the gdp figure has come that is around the 4.1% because of what this might have happen what do you think sir covid me production wagere saga band zalele sir barobar exactly jase mi sangitle ki gdp kashavar depend aste industrialization production var production var jar industries jar band astil उद्योग धंदे सगले बंद है देर इज अ कंप्लीट ब्लॉकेज ऑफ द करंसी कि चलन अपन कि चलन फिर यस और नो यस सर आता तुम्हें गोषी जो तुम्हें परचेस के एक पूर्ण साइकल प्रोडक्ट परचेस करते मनी गोज टू द कंपनी Uh, that uh, manufacturing company then that manufacturing company used to pay the tax that tax go to the comp- uh, government and then government again collect all this money and then government use this money for the welfare of the people government kadun paisa kutun eto taxes madun yes or no yes sir ha tax madun alla paisa government kute use karte gdp ha barobar mag to paisa aaple var kharcha hota na parat यस सर बरोबर ना तर मग आता जर इफ द जीडीपी इज गोइंग डाउन इफ द जीडीपी इज गोइंग डाउन इट मीन्स व्हॉट अवर इकॉनॉमी इज गोइंग डाउन करेक्ट यस एंड इफ द इकॉनॉमी इज गोइंग डाउन विल यू विल विल द कॉमन पीपल विल गेट द गुड सर्विसेस गुड सर्विसेस फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट नो सर नो सो एवरीथिंग इज डिपेंड्स ऑन द इकॉनॉमी as you can see in the month of the march our economy was all standing at the 5 to 6% nowadays it is being calculated 4% because within this 5 to 6 month there is a complete complete blockage of industrialization no work is happening and so there is a no circulation of the money and that is the reason it directly affect on the gdp of our country gdp or of our country and the economy of country apla gharachas tumhi udharun ghew shakta okay because of this condition uh, the payments are not happening on the time and that is directly affecting on you also i hope you are getting the meaning yes sir aplyala ja services ghar madhe apan regularly use karto ti aplyala karta yet nahi karan government kadun sudha government kade sudha paisa jat nahi na sadhya correct the, the if you can see uh, let me tell you the example of uh, now you can see ata aple mandir band hai okay but you can see the wine shops are open why the government has taken this decision karan sir wine shop mande jast pramane tax jato karan wine shop madun sagla jast tax jato government la this is the that is the main source of the income of the government understood so the government has to do the this kind of practices government has to take the different measures to what we can say maintain their gdp maintain their economy and if the economy is good then only we can experience the goods uh, good services from the government for the common people okay and ata he je the point i am telling you ki economy mag he kadhi measure kele jata economy can be measured quarterly economy can be measured half quarterly and economy can be measured measure annually quarterly manje kay pratyek 3 mahine nantar this these things we are going to require in the further sections quarterly in the sense what measurement after the 3 months half quarter means what half quarterly six months measuring after the six months ani mag annually sudha gdp measure kele jate ti kay apan 12 mahine nantar understood so these are the points we are requiring for the further discussion okay remaining part related with this point we will discuss tomorrow okay yes sir okay so that's it for the today's session thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir